Welcome back to the Weekend Scouter. In this episode, we're going to talk about three projects you can do with Altoid tins to promote Cub Scouting. One of them will be a Bear Ghost Fishing, the Six Essentials, and then one will just be an off-the-cuff project. So stay tuned. To get started, you can collect Altoid tin cans. You can collect these mint cans from the Dollar Tree 99 cent stores, or you can go ahead and purchase 12 of the Altoid tin cans off of Amazon. I got 12 of these in the normal tin color and painted them uh, yellow and blue to match the Cub Scout colors. These were $12 for about 12. The first thing we're gonna talk about is a bear goes fishing. And one of the things they have to do is fish for uh, about 45 minutes. Um, and they can also create their own fishing pole. And doing so, um, in our pack, we, I, I created some of these and gave them out as gifts to the scouts. And here's what we have. We have uh, some number four, number six, and number eight hooks that we put in here. We have um, 30 feet of string uh, on this little piece of plastic I got from a, a Red Vines thing and I just wrapped uh, 30 feet around. We got a little weighted bobber. We have some small sinkers, about six of those. Then we have some odds and ends, some um, beads, uh, some swivels, and a drop uh, weight. And then for fun, we added in the, this little um, jig uh, so that the scout can try multiple ways to catch fish. Uh, the fish that we target for that program are um, small, small bluegill and some small bass. Uh, in our area, that's typically the easiest things to catch for these uh, scouts. So how that works is we went ahead again and we painted our tin, the color of scouting. And then we just added the fish, uh, the fish hooks to a uh, little card here, put that on the bottom, add in our string, our bobbers, weights, swivels, and lure. So it's a good idea to do this project with your scouts and then teach them all about the equipment that the scout would use in a bear ghost fishing. Okay. The next project we'll talk about is a uh, first aid kit. Um, for Cub Scouts, it is really simple to uh, create this, and we'll go through that in a minute. But with that, what you're teaching is the six essentials. So the six essentials are a personal first aid kit, flashlight, whistle, trail food, sunscreen, and with sunscreen, that also means a hat, and water. So uh, my scout, he is a tiger, and we have him the uh, Camel Pack Mule. It's perfect for smaller scouts. And each one of these items fits in that perfectly. And then he also stuffs another snack in there to bring along with him some fruit snacks and other things. So what we're gonna do is walk through the first aid kit and what is needed to create a personal first aid kit. One of the fun things about building your own uh, personal first aid uh, kit with your scouts is they get to learn uh, about the six essentials and it's kind of a cool, fun project to do um, for them. So we went ahead and we just uh, kind of hydro dipped these with some spray and paint dimp to kind of so each scout could have their own look. Um, as you can see, we have a couple here, um, and they got to pick the colors and uh, we dipped them. Uh, to put in the first aid kit, we have um, some finger band aids, kind of wrap over the tip of the finger, so, uh, a different variety of regular band aids. Um, we have uh, uh, a little bit of gauze that we put in there. We have some uh, clean wipes and then some uh, alcohol pads that we kind of just force into this thing. We, then we have some uh, triple antibiotic uh, anti, uh, ointment that we put in there. And then uh, this doesn't really need to go in the first aid kit, but I like to put it in there. Uh, these are uh, just some AAA batteries for the flashlight so that they have those and then you pretty much close it. One of the key things to do though, uh, and we didn't do, was to add a first aid kit emblem or sticker on the top. Uh, that way um, in the six essentials, it's, it's defined what it is so that you don't have to go through things. All of these materials can be gathered at Walmart, uh, a Dollar Tree, 99 cent stores um, for about $10 um, to put these kits together and you can do up to about 10 scouts. That's what we did um, and the scouts really enjoyed it. And again, a lot of them chose their own different colors 
and stuff. And um, so what we did is we let them choose their colors and they created these and they fit in small backpacks and things perfectly. So, all right, on to the next project. So these last two projects are, are, are pretty much just off the fly, off the cuff type things. Um, in our uh, den, as well as some of our packs, we vote on specific things that we wanna do. Um, so this one right here is a voting tin. Um, we have uh, six pencils in here, and then we cut up a bunch of paper to put in there. So there's a bunch of paper in the bottom. So if we were gonna have a vote, we would just put out the pencils and we would give each uh, scout a piece of paper to say yes or no. And they would then go into the den leader's hat and secretly so that no scout is uh, held accountable for his vote. Um, and it's a good way to show um, that voting matters. And our scouts again are just tigers, but they really enjoy this. Um, and then after they're done with the vote, we give them back to them and they play tic-tac-toe for a few minutes while we talk to the parents. Um, one of the last things that you can do with an Altoid tin, and uh, if you're a geocacher, you've seen this a lot, is geocaching. So most of these tins would be duct taped in a, a, a camouflage color or painted. Um, and then what you would do is um, maybe put some magnets in the bottom and stick them on the back of like a generator or um, something like that. So um, our scouts haven't done this yet, and I believe you do this as a bear. Um, for geocaching, but um, our scouts are gonna do this this fall where we're gonna have the scouts by vote uh, what colors they wanna do their tin, and then we're gonna go ahead and put a geocache in our local area for our uh, uh, scouts to uh, maintain through Arrow of Light. So there's a lot more things you can do with Altoid tin cans. And um, in future videos, I'll go ahead and, and I'll do some updates on that, maybe making some games and catapults and some tic-tac-toe boards. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you for watching The Weekend Scouter and stay tuned for upcoming videos like Stomp Rockets and the uh, Cub Scout uh, kind of keepsake chest. So stay tuned.